August 3rd, 2020. Guys, uh, I want to talk about something uh, just a little different from the hurricane, although now uh, Isaiah is a Cat 1. It's coming in the same place we talked about in the video earlier. But uh, this uh, is important also. We're about to come out of uh, the solar minimum, on the grand solar minimum of solar cycle 24 and the solar cycle 25. And it affects me, guys, when our solar wind gets uh, above about 1.2 million miles per hour. And if you look into the top left right here, um, that's why I'm going to keep the video short. And I know you, a lot of you guys are going to come in these comments and say the same thing. But the solar wind speed is 671.7 kilometers per second. Guys, do you realize that's over 1.5 million miles per hour? And though that solar wind stream is hitting the shields of our planet. And guys, this website uh, is on our, our website and it's called Space Weather. It's been there for maybe 10 years. And uh, it's very important because it affects the weather. When they say space weather, they named it very properly a long time ago because every breeze that you feel, every drop of rain that you see on this planet is caused by space weather in the when it strikes our atmosphere and it says solar wind sparks geomagnetic unrest earth is inside a fast moving 600 kilometer per second guys it's almost at 700 if you notice 671 the top right since the article was written but again it's over 1.5 million miles an hour it says the gases material is flowing from a northern hole in the sun's atmosphere high Latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras August 3rd and the 4th as Earth passes through the stream. And let me pull this down just a little. It says sol solar cycle 25 strengthens. So we're coming out of uh, the bottom of an 11.8 year cycle of uh, cycle 24. And as we bottom out, we're going to rise up for it. This, uh, again, 11.8 year period. So off almost six years will rise to a peak and then it will, uh, descend back down. Well, what, the reason I've always called this grand solar minimum is because if you look at every 11.8 years, you look at the peak as if you're looking at an oscilloscope. Each one of those peaks in the cycle has declined where the solar maximum at that in that middle of this uh, these cycles gets lower and lower and that's what we're dealing with but we're starting to get sunspots on the sun check this out and the way that they know that we are changing from one solar cycle to the next is because unlike the earth every 11.8 years when this occurs the sun m changes its magnetic poles not its physical poles and the same thing on the Earth. A lot of people talk about pole change. Magnetic pole change is one thing, but physical pole change is another. But the sun does it every 11.8 years, which matches the orbit of Jupiter, the gas giant twin. Did you know every solar system is actually a binary system? And the Earth, and the Earth is in one of those with the sun and Jupiter. But it says uh, solar cycle 25 strengthens. No longer any doubt. New solar cycle 25 is coming to lie. The latest sign came today with the emergence of a new sunspot group. Insert in the magnetic map of the sun's surface. We haven't seen much of this. And when you start getting these sunspots, guys, you start getting filament releases. You start getting coronal mass ejections, ejections and solar flares. But uh, what they're talking about is provisionally numbered AR-2277, that's the top sunspot, has two dark cores, each about the size of Mars. Guys, did you know that if you took the sun and then you took an exact um, model of the Earth compared to the sun, it would take 109 Earths to go across the surface. That's the difference. It would take millions of Earths to feel the inside but what they're talking about here did you see the plus and the minus signs here here the plus is on the right the minus is on the left every 11.8 years 
that polarity of these sunspot changes, and that's what they uh, that's how they realize that we're coming into a new solar cycle. Now, th this is important because for a couple of reasons, when we're going to a new solar cycle and our shields are weaker with each cycle as we're going into a grand solar minimum, then the effect of solar wind, of the coronal mass ejections, the sunspots, uh, solar flares, things like that, have a greater effect on our planet. And it affects our weather. When this was kicking up, starting to come in, we saw sudden explosions from uh, Hurricane Isaiah, which now it is a Cat 1 hurricane coming into the Carolinas, guys. So, again, it, everything affects, it, it's, it's like a domino effect from the sun down to all the planets. But it's saying active regions from uh, solar cycle 25 now are now strewn across the sun's northern hemisphere. These are places where magnetic fields are intensifying, creating islands of magnetism on the sun's surface. Just, again, think about it. A sunspot like you're seeing here at AR2770 right here, guys, you could get three or four of our planets through that hole without touching the surface. Just to give you, you know, an idea of what we're dealing with. But uh, it, I, I want to say this. Um, it affects me when it gets this high. And let me just show you the math when you go from uh, six point or 6.7. 671.7 kilometers per second. And you can calculate this yourself. Put in, uh, just type into Google and search for kilometers per second to miles. And it's saying you're currently converting speed units from kilometers per second to miles per hour. 673.7 kilometers equals 1.5.07023 million miles per hour. Guys, are you feeling it? I know you are. Um, also, watch for the tides tonight uh, coming in. you got a Cat 1 coming into the Carolinas, guys. But I had to mention this because we've talked about it many times before. It's a heads up. Be safe.